Today we are taking three different illustrations and I will be putting on lights over them in very different ways. Hello my friend, how are you? I really hope that you're okay. And if this is your first time on my channel, hello, I'm Gaia. And if it's not, welcome back. Lights are very important to our drawings, so I will be showing you my exercises. Let's go! I put three different ambience, one being a lake, two being a little street and three being a cafe. Here I'm going to show you the three different line works. And then, after that, I just took them and colored with flat colors, with different kind of shadings of colors, because I wanted to make them a little bit unique, one from the other. And so the result of that is this, this, and this. I hope you like them, but I can totally understand that you are not seeing quite a lot inside of those dark scenes. Let's just brighten it up a little bit, shall we? For the first line work, the inspiration was fairy lights. You are in a fairy cottage core kind of world and you are seeing this lake where there is a little boat sitting on there and it's chilling, the vibe is very calm but without the lights it can be very creepy so I added more lights into it and then it wasn't really creepy anymore because the lights helped so much with the magical vibe some orbs floating around the lake it's very calm, you can hear the birds that are sleeping, so you don't hear them. <laughs> you can hear the water going... You can hear a little breeze, but not too much, just a little. And then you can hear the crickets, the night crickets, how do you call them? Well, those going like... Like that. And then you see these lights floating all around. Are they fireflies? Are they fairies? You don't know, but this is the drawing that shows that vibe. Also, it's summer. I feel that it will be summer, like one of those great summer nights. For the second one, you are walking around the city and you are walking over the stairs, tip tap tip tap, and you see a cute little house that is on the side of the road. Without the lights, it could be very creepy, you don't know who lives there. But by adding the lights, it's very cozy, it's very calm, there's no one, you can also see that there's people inside of the house, they are making dinner, you can hear the dishes that they are using to eat. So it's very, very calm. And so with the light, the mood has completely changed. The third illustration, however, you are inside of a place and there's no one. Without lights, you are in a place where you don't know where to walk. Because if you walk in the wrong direction, there will be a chair and the chair's leg will be there to hurt you, especially your foot. Because somehow in this scenario, you are shoeless. You don't have the shoes and that chair's leg, it's there to hurt your pinky. <laughs> so without lights, it's very creepy. But by adding the lights, you are the owner of the cafe that is just closing. It's just looking at the fresh, clean place, ready to open up tomorrow. And you're just like, hmm. This is a nice and clean coffee shop. I'm very proud of it. And so you can see how much the light can make a difference because you go from hurting yourself 
on the pinky of your toe to a very proud owner of a coffee shop. I tell you, the light is very important. Oh, it looks like we have finished. So, the much more you train your eye, the more you can actually see where the bouncing light can be and how strong or how soft it can be actually. You can see how much the vibe has changed from being super dark and creepy and you don't understand anything that's going on because it's too dark and also very flat to a very almost cozy because you can play with maybe creepy lights if you want to but i chose to put more cozy vibes in my illustrations i really enjoyed to play with the lights because it permitted me to add so many details that with the flat colors it wasn't very possible and so I think that this will show you how much of a difference light can make. It actually is a very good tool to add details, for example, and also to add much more thready kind of vibes inside of your illustration. And that's very important because if you can play with the right lights, then the drawing will be much more vibrant and lively than if it's only with flat colors. Studying light, it's a long process. It's very difficult to get into it and try to understand it more and more. But if you do, your drawings will be very much thanking you because it will be just a very good level up by the end. Before going, Froggy wants to show you all three drawings together which one do you like the most moi so this is it i really hope that you enjoyed watching me play with the lights thank you so much for giving me your most precious coin your time coin and i really hope that i will see you another time in another video right Oh, bye bye! Speaking of lights, look how crazy today the sun is. I have my natural light over here and it's literally so potent.